Hey guys, it's Derek Jones, and in this episode I'm going to show you how to use GearBest window film to actually make a privacy window. Problem is, there's a shower enclosure in the bathroom and I don't have enough room to put blinds in, and we don't want to spend a lot of money to put in closed blinds. So what we're going to do on this window is just put some window film up and uh, call it good. So I'll show you how to do that. Do me a favor, before we get started, if you feel inclined, please give me a like or subscribe or make a comment if I could do something better. It really helps me out. All right, let me show you what we're going to need. A razor blade scraper, a cutter, a clean, empty water bottle, a uh, washcloth, some baby shampoo, some tape, and a squeegee, and of course, the Gear Best uh, window film. And this was about like four bucks. Uh, the link's in my description. You can go pick some up there. And they have a couple different types. Yeah, I scraped so. every inch of the window twice and I was amazed at how much dirt came off without even being able to see it. So now I'm actually gonna clean the window with Windex first. Okay, I've sprayed it down with Windex. And now you really have to get into the corners because that's where the scrape material is gonna collect if you didn't get it off. So I've wiped it all down, okay, and I'm just going to keep scrubbing. I don't want anything missed, so. Okay, so now I've filled the bottle up about, about to the first rim with water. Now I'm going to add some uh, baby shampoo, baby soap. Just a little bit. This acts as a lubricant in the water. We're going to take our window film and we're going to roll it out to size. Okay, I've sprayed the window down with soapy water again. Okay, so now I've hung it up with some scotch tape. And you want a little bit of overhang on all the edges so it'll fit right. But I'm going to trim it. we now. use? I think we'll go for the little green one. I'm going to tear off the little adhesive cover or just a little bit, not much at all. You don't want to tear it all off because it'll pick up dust from the static electricity. So about two inches in each it's direction. It's a bit of a challenge, but if you just use your fingernail, you can separate this pretty easy. I'm just going to stick a little bit at a time and peel off a little bit at a time. And it doesn't have to be exact yet. So we're just trying to minimize any contamination. So just keep sticking it. So we've got some overhang on both sides. And we've got some... Overhang on the bottom and the top. Then I'm using this uh, package as a straight edge and I'm just trimming the excessive film. And so now you're just gonna squeegee and the soap makes it easy to smooth all the bubbles. And this is a good time to look and see if you missed any trim. You do not want anything touching the plastic or it'll cause bubbles. And it looks like I have, so let me fix like that. a millimeter of gap between the rim and the window, just so nothing bubbles. It should look like this. And you just wanna let it air dry. Piece of cake, right. right? Both windows took me roughly 35 minutes. The hardest part is the trimming. Take extra care when you do that. Use new blades. Don't be afraid to use more soap water when you're trying to work the bubbles out because that's really key to this. All right, thanks for watching and uh... If you like what you see, go ahead and let me know in the comments or give me a like or better yet, subscribe. That really helps me out, like I said before. And uh, we'll be doing more home improvements as we get ready to sell this house. So I'll see you next time.